Oh, look at him having that picnic there, Mark. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Hey there, friends. How are you guys? My name's Denise, and I'm here to tell you a bedtime story. Today, I wanted to share Fancy Nancy Stellar Stargazer. I don't know about you guys, but I love looking at the stars at night, so I wanted to share this book with you guys. Go ahead and go grab your stuffed animals. I have Mark over here. I'm going to give him a big squeeze before we start. Oh. Thanks, Mark. Say hi to folks. <laughs> awesome. Let's do it, guys. This is Fancy Nancy, Stellar Stargazer. And for all you folks out there, that's a Princess Leia outfit right there. Good stuff. All right, let's do it. We were eating al fresco, that's fancy for outside, and waiting for the sky to glow dark. My, litter, my little sister is so impatient. She keeps tugging on my arm and asking, where are the stars? I want stars. So I tell Jojo, a star is out right now. She thinks I'm teasing, but I'm not because guess what? The sun is a star. It's much closer than any other stars. That's why it looks so big. During the day, it's bright light blocks out all the other stars. The other stars are always up there in the sky. We just can't see them until the sun sets and the sky is dark. Can you wish on the sun? Jojo asks. Hmm, it is a star after all, so why not? We close our eyes and say, starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might have this wish I wish tonight. It's a cool picture of the sun right there. Now Jojo seen, sees the moon and she wants to wish on that too. No, you can't, I tell her. That's definitely against the rules because the moon isn't a star. But it's shining, Jojo says. So I draw a picture for her to help her understand. The moon is made of rock. It can't shine on its own. Light from the sun reflecting off the moon makes it, looks like it, makes it look like it's shining. Understand? Guess what? You could lie under the moon for hours and hours and never get a moon burn. That'd be crazy to get a moon burn. Hey, I say to my sister, want to pretend we're astronauts going to the moon? We go get our spacesuits and soon we are ready to blast off. Now we count down 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, blast off. I love the rocket ship. When we land, we breathe through our tanks because there is no air on the moon. On the moon, it is boiling hot during the day and freezing cold at night. There's no in between, but our spacesuits protect us. We go exploring. All we see are rocks and dust. Everything is gray or brown, which are my least favorite colors. Isn't it dreary, I say to astronaut Jojo? Dreary is fancy for dark and ugly. So is anything fun on the moon? Let's turn the page and find out. Their spacesuits are really cool too. Yes, on the moon, you don't walk, you bounce. It's like being on a trampoline. Boing, boing, boing. Spaceships don't have ovens, so we can't cook. No problem, I brought along a bag of real astronaut ice cream that I bought on a class trip to the planetarium. Real astronauts eat this stuff. We pour on some chocolate sauce and voila, 
It's an outer space Sunday. We plant a flag just like the first men on the moon did. Their flag is still there. I don't think I've ever had astronaut ice cream before. I'll have to try that. Sounds pretty neat. Astronaut Jojo and I drive a lunar vehicle, that's fancy for moon car, back to our spaceship. We are ready to return home. Greetings and salutations, fellow Earthlings, I say when we land. Welcome back. See any aliens? My dad asks. I love pretending. My dad is teasing. There are no aliens. That's fancy for space creatures. When the moon is full, you can sort of see a face. That's why people say there's a man on the moon. Here's my drawing. I made the man in the moon a lady. A tray fancy lady. Because of the way the sun shines on the moon, it looks different every night. Tonight, it looks like a skinny banana. That's called a crescent moon. Every night, the moon appears a little bigger until it's a full moon. Then it starts shrinking all the way back down to a crescent moon again. I love when it's the full moon. Ooh la la, a few stars are out. They really do look like diamonds in the sky, just like it says in Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Right away, I locate, that's fancy for find, the North Star. Long ago, sailors could tell which way their ships were going by looking for the North Star. Finding your way by star, by starlight, sounds so romantic. I think the North Star is supposed to be the brightest of them all. My dad and I try to locate some constellations. They are groups of stars that make pictures like a connect the, dot a connect the dots puzzle. There are bears and dogs, swans and whales. I love the legends. That's a fancy word for stories about constellations. The easiest constellation to find is the Big Dipper. A dipper is like the big spoon. Maybe when you guys go outside tonight, you guys can check out for the Big Dipper. That's one that I always find. These other ones are a little more difficult, but you can still find them on a really clear night. One of the most famous constellations is called the Hunter. The Hunter's name is Orion. You say it like this, o ry un He can be seen in the cold months. He was handsome and brave, but he bragged all the time. We're having trouble finding any constellations because, uh-oh, big clouds are moving across the sky. It will probably clear up, Dad says, and while we wait, I make up my own constellations. I call it the Diamond Tierra. I tell my dad long ago, a beautiful princess named Nanette fell in love with the commoner. I explained to him that's a fancy word for someone who isn't royal. The legend of Diamond Tierra. Dashing, ooh la la. Who, me? No. The king wouldn't let Nanette marry him. One day she ran away. I'm out of here. She wore plain ugly clothes so she wouldn't look like a princess. Only she forgot one thing. She still had on her diamond tiara. The palace guards nearly caught her. The second Nanette got outside, she took off her tiara and threw it up, up, up into the sky where it joined the other stars. The end. That's a pretty good story. That's a wonderful legend, my dad says. 
Did she find the commoners and get married? May we. All my stories have happy endings. It is very cloudy and windy now. My mom takes Jojo inside, but I am determined to camp out overnight. Determined means I'm sticking out I'm sticking it out no matter what. My dad makes a fire and we roast some marshmallows. Roasting marshmallows is my favorite. It's cozy in my sleeping bag. I hear raindrops plip plopping on our tent. My dad says it wasn't a stellar night for stars, but we had fun. The next thing I know, it's morning and dad wakes me up shouting, quick, come look. Ooh la la, my wish came true. Something extra special is in the sky. Hmm, I wonder what it is. I think rainbows are just as magnificent as stars. Don't you? Rainbows are also really spectacular to see in the sky. Well, whether it's daytime or nighttime, when you guys are seeing this, maybe you guys can catch what's outside. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for letting me inside your homes, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to give Mark one more big hug. Thanks, Mark. Say bye to the friends. Bye, guys.